My name is Kain Sander Janius, and my intention is to help data scientists handle the problems they face in everyday activities. So any challenge you have at all, just let me know and I'm going to help you solve it, especially beginner data scientists and machine learning enthusiasts. So if you have any challenges, just let me know, write it in the comment box below and I'll help you. If you want to reach me personally, also try to reach me and I'm going to give you the support you need because that is what I do. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, I know that there are people out there that I appreciate what I'm doing. So just hit the subscribe button below and let me know that uh, you are learning from me and like my video if it's been informative for you. If you have recommendations, let me know. Now, NumPy Array and Pandas Data Frame, these are two things that you need to know if you have to be a data scientist. This is the, the, the two first, the first things, the very initial things you need to learn. They are NumPy Array and Data and Pandas Data Frame. Now, NumPy Array is simply what it is, an array. Let me just take a pen and let me indicate. So when you want to work with matrices, you have something like A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 1, 5, uh, 3. So what you have here is a NumPy array. Actually, a NumPy array can be any dimension, maybe one dimension or two dimension. You can also have a NumPy array to be, let's say B is equal to 1, 3, 5. This is also a NumPy array. We are going to create it immediately uh, after now. We are going to actually use Jupyter Notebook to actually show how this thing work. Now, in case of Pandas data frame, you have something like, let's say uh, C is equal to X, Y, C. And then you have, let's say X is equal to 2, 4, six and here let's take for instance we are trying to square this so you have 4 16 36 and let's say you are taking the square root of this so you have 1.32 you have 2 and you have you have 2.46 so this is a data frame and this is an array so these are two different things you need to know how to create a data frame you also need to know how to create an array. The two things that are necessary for you to know that is that these two things are handled by two different models. A pandas data frame is handled by pandas, while is handled by the pandas module, while a numpy array is handled by the numpy module. So let's go ahead to do it at this point. So let's start with a NumPy array. At this point, I'm going to create a new Python 3 file so that I can illustrate what I'm saying. So to create a to create a NumPy array, let's start by importing import NumPy as np. Okay. So I'm importing NumPy as np, and at this point, I'm going to say I'm going to import pandas as well. Pandas as pd, all right? So to create the matrix I have here, because if you are working with matrices, most likely you are going to be working with, you are going to be using NumPy arrays. So to create a one-dimensional array, you can say b is equal to 1, 1, 3, 5. And now this we've done here is actually something you need to know. This is just, just an array, not a NumPy array. The reason is because now I've created just an array and it's not a NumPy array. For this to be a NumPy array, you are going to use the array function of NumPy. So you are going to say b is equal to Let's say uh, D this time is equal to mp.array, mp.array, and you specify what you want to be, you specify the array you want. So we are creating an array D, which is a NumPy array, and you give it a, 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 an ordinary array B. So if you check the content of D at this point, you can see that it says array. But if you check the content of B, you can see that uh, is a different thing. So here you have D is an array, a NumPy array. 
and you have B, which is an ordinary array. Let's now go for two-dimensional array. In this case, I'm going to create this array using NumPy array. I can create the array separately and then call the np.array function in NumPy. But this time I want to just create it using the uh, np.array function. So I, I'm going to create an array E is equal to np.array and you specify. Now, if you want to create a two dimensional array, you need to specify each of the row of the array in a different square bracket. So in this case, you have two, three, four. And the second row will be row one, five, three. So at this point, we have the row one, row two, and then all the array is enclosed in another square bracket. Now, if I run it, it runs perfectly. Now, see if I display it at this point, you can see it displays exactly as a matrix form. Extending it a little further, let's just go up and extend it a little further. Let's add a third row, maybe six, seven, five. Now, this person does not really matter. So now we have it displays as an array. Now, if I take this array out of this place and create it without using NumPy array, let me just copy it out and create it without using a NumPy array. You can see that it doesn't really give us the look and feel of a matrix. If I display it at this point, it doesn't give us the look and feel of a matrix. So while this is an array, which is equivalent to this array, this very array, E, is a NumPy array. So that is how NumPy array works. Let's now look at Pandas data frame. At this point, I'm going to shift the window a little bit downwards. So Pandas data frame is actually used to create a table. So in this case, let's create this table, which is C takes X and takes Y is equal to uh, I'm going to just write it out at this point. So let's say in case of C, X is equal to 1 all the way to 10. Y is equal to X squared. And Z is equal to uh, X cubed. Let's, let's put it in this way, okay? I think, okay, let's say, let's say Z is equal to square root of X, okay? So... I'm going to go back. Let's now create this data frame in Pandas. So what you are going to do, you are going to say, let's create, let's define the range of values at first. I'm going to say x is equal to numpy.lin space. Now we are calling numpy to help us create a range of values ranging from 1 to 10. And we need 10 values. So at this point, if I look at x by typing x and run it, you can see it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we want y is equal to x squared. So I'm going to say x squared, which is x times x. Uh, like running every time I type. So z is equal to, you can actually write everything in one cell. But I want to make sure that if I have errors, I know where the error is coming from. And mp.sqrt. I think SQRT is for square roots. So let me see. I, I, I don't really know if that is correct, but let's try. Okay, and SQRT is for square root. Let's now create the pandas data frame that will hold this table of values, which is equivalent to what we have here. So to create a pandas data frame, let's call this the data frame DF. You, yes, you assign DF. You create a data frame, you use PD, you use PD dot data frame. Now it's so interesting to work with data frames because data frames are really nice looking because they look like tables or uh, spreadsheets that you are used to. So you have to use curly braces when you are working with a data frame. You have to use curly braces and you specify the header. So in this case, the header is X. For X, you use a column and then specify the series of values for X which is x. Now we move to the second column. The header is y, and we specify the series of values for y, which is y. And we go for the last one, z, and we specify after a column the series of values for z. I'm going to run it, and hopefully everything went fine. Now let's display this data frame to see 
what is inside. You can, I, I can normally say print df, but you can actually say df is okay. So when you say print df, it shows you something like this. But it looks more beautiful when you just say df in this way. So now it displays this data uh, frame well formatted with a uh, table having a hover effect, as you can see. All right. So this is how to work with data frames and how to work with NumPy. So we've actually treated different between NumPy array and Pandas data frame. I hope this is clear to you and it's been informative for you as well. If so, let me know in the comment box below. Like this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you motivate me to keep making these lessons. I remain kind and the genius and we see in the nice nugget on machine learning and data science.